In this tutorial, we will teach you how to encrypt a folder with TrueCrypt. Data encryption is completely based on cryptography, meaning storing the data in a secure, encrypted code. There are basically two types of encryption. First is the symmetric encryption, where an encrypted message is sent to another computer, which is able to translate the encrypted code into the intended message using a password. The other is the asymmetric, or the public key encryption format, which has a public and a private key. The private key is only meant for your computer, while the public key is provided to the other computer, which wants to communicate securely with your machine. There are various types of different applications which help with encryption, for example, CryptoCat, a private and secure chat application, or Enigmail, a secure email client. PayPal, Amazon, and all other services use some sort of encryption. Although more secure, but for the average user at home, a simple symmetric encryption can certainly go a long way to keep your data secure. For that purpose, you can use TrueCrypt, which is an open source application available on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Before getting started, make sure the account you're logged in has an administrative right, since TrueCrypt won't run on a limited privilege or guest account. With the setup wizard opened up, just follow through the steps to install the application on your system. Once done, open up the application and click on the Create Volume button. With that done, the TrueCrypt Volume Creation Wizard will open. Over here, choose the Create an Encrypted File Container option. This will create a virtual encrypted disk. With that done, let's move on to the next step. Over here, you will have to select the volume type. For this tutorial, we will create a normal TrueCrypt volume, and for that we will select the first option. Next, you will be required to select a location for the volume. Simply browse to the location where you want to create the encrypted folder and give the folder a name. Next, you will be required to set the encryption options. Make sure that the encryption algorithm is set to AES, which stands for Advanced Encryption Standard. This is the algorithm which is used for symmetric encryption. Leave the rest of the options as they are and move on with the process. Now you will be required to specify the volume size for the encrypted folder. For this tutorial, we will set it to 100 megabytes and click on Next to move on with the process. Next, type a password for the folder. Use a strong password by using an alphanumeric combination. Also, write down the password somewhere because if you lose that, you won't be able to access the data anymore. You can even decide to use key files. Key files are basically any type of files, be it a document, image, or an audio file, that will be used as a key to decrypt the folder. Losing that particular file means that you won't be able to decrypt the folder, so it's very important to keep a backup. To activate that, simply tick on the checkbox next to Use Key Files option, and then click on the Key Files button. Once the new window opens up, click on the Add Files button, and select the file that you want to use as a key file. In this tutorial, we will use this image file over here. Once done, simply click on OK and move on with the process. TrueCrypt will now format the volume before encrypting it. Make sure you randomly move the cursor on the window to increase encryption strength. With that done, select the File System and click on the Format button. Once the processing is completed, you will be notified that the volume has been created, and if we move to the partition where we created the volume, you will notice an encrypted file exactly of the same size that we configured earlier. To mount the encrypted folder, select an unused drive letter from the TrueCrypt drive letter option. For this tutorial, we will select the letter Z. With that done, click on the Select File button to select the encrypted file which you want to mount. Browse to the location where the encrypted folder is present and select that folder. With that done, click the Mount button and you will be required to enter the password. Since we have used key files for the encryption, you will be required to add the same file to decrypt it. If password and key files are correct, then TrueCrypt will mount the encrypted folder as a new drive on your computer. Now you can use this encrypted drive just like a normal drive, and it will show up under My Computer. To unmount the drive, simply select the drive in the TrueCrypt window and click on the Dismount button. With that done, it will no longer show up in My Computer or be mounted as a hard drive. And that's basically how you can use TrueCrypt to encrypt a folder. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.